Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading for mid-August. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. I'm pulling a Celtic cross for you today, starting off with a couple of astral cards. And towards the end of the reading, I will be pulling a few charms and tea leaves for you. So make sure you stick around for that. All right. To start with, we have Uranus. Oh, wow. We have Uranus in house 11. Why that is interesting is because Uranus rules Aquarius and Aquarius rules the 11th house. There is a change coming about when it comes to your friends, when it comes to like-minded groups, humanitarian beliefs, your community, your social groups. Um, <clears throat> we do have Uranus going retrograde on the 24th in Taurus. And we also have the Saturn Uranus square, which has been plaguing us for, for the past few years. There is a push and pull dynamic that comes about with this square, especially when Uranus is involved, because Uranus is the mad scientist. So is Aquarius. Uranus is that energy of rebellion with a cause. It is, it is the energy of wanting to break out of a box. Now the opposition with Saturn. Saturn is the grandfather. It wants you to sit in that box. So I feel like you're changing how you look at your friendships. You're changing the kind of people you surround yourself with. You're changing traditionality. You're creating your own traditions here. Uh, but I feel like this, this radical shift, <clears throat> this radical change that is happening is good for you. Why? You may have been surrounding yourself with people who, well, you just surrounded yourself with them because it was comfortable because they were always by your side. You know what I mean? You know how that happens sometimes when we are delving into friendships that we've maintained for years at a time, but then the growth pattern and the speed of growth that the two people are at are radically different, right? One evolves faster than the other. And sometimes those relationships and those friendships dissipate. They disappear, right? Uh, I feel like you are matching your frequency with the people you're surrounding, surrounding yourself with now. And which is why they're bringing about the best in you. There's a lot of experimentation here. I feel like there's a lot of innovation. And you're using your brain a lot more than you earlier used to. I feel like the people you're surrounding yourself with now, they're prompting you to bring the best version of you out there. You know what I mean? There's no stagnancy here. There's a lot of growth happening. All right. Heart of your reading, we have the five of pentacles crossed by the ace of pentacles goodness all right i feel with the five of pentacles you've been feeling a little abandoned you've been feeling a little left out you've been feeling a little out in the cold and feeling like people are out to get you but with the ace of pentacles being um the crossing card I have to read this in reverse because it's a challenge card, right? I feel like the Ace of Pentacles is a seed. It is an offer that is presented to you by, from the universe, by the universe, and it expects you to work on it. It is not a big hefty package all in one go. It is a tiny opportunity that needs to be, well, nurtured. I feel that you are not looking at this, whatever this is. This can bring you an insane amount of stability, but you're looking at it as something as as if it's really really small as if you can't do much with it right it's almost like you want to win the lottery but you're not even going to buy the ticket you know what i mean there is some kind of offer here that you are dismissing because you feel that it is too small let's see what is your focus the chariot cancer energy i feel like you have your eye on a particular price whatever this is it could be a promotion it could be a relationship it could be whatever experimentation you've been a part of i don't know what this is but the chariot talks about balance if those two horses are not balanced if they both go their separate ways you're going to end up nowhere right you need to balance heart and head you need to balance yin and yang you need to balance all your chakras before you reach whatever goal this is but i feel like you are looking at a particular thing 
and wanting to reach step 1000 from step zero in one leap. It doesn't work like that. The chariot also has to go on a journey. This is the start of that journey, the Ace of Pentacles. But you want the Ten of Pentacles without getting the Ace first. You know what I mean? Let's see, what was in the recent past? The Seven of Swords. You were running away from something. I'm getting shortcut to success again and again and again. I, I get the whole concept of work smarter, not harder, right? But hard work goes a very, very long way. I feel like you may have been looking for a shortcut to achieve whatever goal this is. The Ace of Pentacles is very tiny, okay? All the Aces in the Tarot are very tiny. They're the first of, of that particular suit. So they don't carry all that much energy, but it is a spark. It is a new beginning. I feel like you wanted to achieve whatever prize this was without putting in the work. I'm calling you out a little bit, Scorpio. Bear with me. Let's see. What was your? What is your crowning energy? What is your strength? The Knight of Swords. You just want to go, 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 don't you? There's a lot of movement here. There's a lot of action here. I, I almost just feel like Uranus, this Uranian energy is wanting you to achieve your goals, take risks, experiment, innovate. It's pushing you to bring about that radical change very quickly. And because it's not happening as quickly as you had hoped, it's putting you in your head. Uranus is the spoiled, not spoiled, but the very rebellious grandchild. Saturn is the grandfather. You see that push and pull dynamic. Should I go slow and trust the universe or should I innovate and experiment and go my own way and rebel? There's a balance that needs to be struck here. I feel like the Knight of Swords is somebody who goes in very quickly and is out the door just as quickly, right? I don't think this is a concept of striking while the iron is hot. I feel like this is more a concept of slow and steady wins the race. Let's see, what is your immediate future? The King of Pentacles. There you go. That's what I want to see. I hate telling people to slow down and I'm not asking you to slow down by any means. I am just asking you to ground yourself, stabilize yourself. There is a reason that Uranian energy nods to that tower moment. For me, the tower card is not just Plutonian energy. It is Uranus and Pluto together. So instead of being frustrated with where you are and quickly wanting to change your life, take it a step at a time. The King of Pentacles is the best card to get for money and for stability in the tarot because he has mastered his, well, financial situation. He is someone who is very generous, again, no gender in tarot, and someone who has created a legacy of wealth for himself and for the people he cares about. That's where you want to be. You know what I mean? So take it a step at a time. It's all right if your manifestations aren't coming about as quickly as you had hoped. How are you showing up to this reading? Too many cards. We did see the Ace of Cups. You're showing up as the Eight of Wands. You're just like screaming at me that, no, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. You're showing up as someone with a lot of drive, a lot of passion, and I admire you for that. I think that's absolutely wonderful. But if that passion is not used constructively, it can become extremely destructive. Whatever drive it is that you have with the chariot card, with the eight of wands, it's also possible that you want to travel. You have a lot of movement happening here. Pace yourself. You may reach a particular goal, but that goal may not sustain you for long enough. You know what I mean? I do see movement and that's good. That is really good because the energy is supporting this movement. And then we have the Three of Pentacles as your external influence. This matches House 11. There are people surrounding you who will match your frequency, who will match your momentum when it comes to whatever this is. Make sure you take their help. All of these cards are solo energies. Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Chariot. Right? They are going about something by yourself and going about it very quickly. 
the three of pentacles is slower it's earth it's a collaboration it is a sense of putting your heads together and creating something long lasting connect with your co-workers connect with your friends connect with your spouse whoever it may be whatever it is that you're trying to create here get a few heads together take some advice make a plan make a business plan make a plan of action and then proceed cautiously <clears throat> all right let's see hopes and fears two of wands i feel like you're you're hoping to leave the past where it belongs now i see that there was a bit of pain the seven of swords and the five of pentacles is telling me that there was a bit of a hiccup in the past and you try to mask over it you know how sometimes we go through something particularly difficult and then we tell ourselves that oh all right we're fine we're fine let's just move forward let's just move forward that moving forward is running away if you're not processing whatever transpired if you're not dealing with it if you're not soothing that hurt and you're just brushing it under the rug it's going to resurface eventually your hope is to leave the past in the past just make sure you're actually doing it and not just thinking about it okay let's see immediate oh, not immediate potential outcome i dropped a card and it is the most stunning card to get the sun happiness a lot of joy a lot of growth optimism evolution i feel like not just the planetary energies but the energies around you regardless are prompting you to grow into the best version of yourself and i feel like a lot of that has to do with the people you surround yourself with there is a journey that you are taking right now you are in a rush to complete it but i feel like your companions on that journey are going to help you truly realize your potential by slowing you down just a little bit the sun does take well a while to rise and a while to set so i feel like don't be in a rush take everything one step at a time all right let's see let's get you some tea leaves to close this off well family wishes coming true beautiful the sun points to that as well lobster financial pinch and i felt that with the five of pentacles is possible that some of you may have lost out uh, out on a job or a project or a raise or a bonus or something like that but i feel like all of that is shifting with the king of pentacles don't be in a rush to refill your coffers okay stock news of a birth or a new business opportunity yes i see that too again with the king of pentacles <clears throat> and i place my cards intuitively this is in the middle of the king of pentacles and the three of pentacles so a new collaboration maybe ring scorpio got the same uh libra got the same pardon me a marriage will take place either romantic or business you see romantic or business a business marriage a partnership a collaboration i'm getting that so strongly kin pay attention to your health make sure you're watching your backs as well funnel period of frustration lessons to be learned i sense that frustration here with the five of pentacles and you're running away from that frustration don't run away work through it fire strong emotion passionate love or hate well interesting let's get one more for this boat money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall that lottery ticket that i've been talking about i feel like you really need to center yourself right now you really need to ground yourself i feel like your your solar plexus chakra is on overdrive work on your root work on the bottom chakra I feel like that is going to center you and calm you down just a little bit so that you can truly move forward with purpose. All right, not just with intention. All right, that was it for you. I hope this helped you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.